Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Ah, we need to get that to there. Oh, well, I can get him from here, though. What the? I didn't remember that. Come on. He's gonna see the dead body. You know, if you actually woke up like that, you'd see it. Freeze! Huh? No problem. Freeze! Don't kill me. Uh, yes, I will. Okay, whatever. Gabriel, you gave me a scare. For that, you die. Are you okay in there? Good. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Who's there? No one. There's no one here. No one and nothing. Close. No one and nothing. Turn around, please. Please. For fuck's sake, turn around. Thank you. This is not gonna be as easy as I thought. Not at all. He's gonna fall asleep soon. Hopefully he'll walk this way a bit. No, he won't. The situation is normal. All clear. The situation is normal. All clear. I really don't want to be a sleeping dude. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, got my ribs. Oh, my ribs. I'll put him to sleep once he's here. <coughs> right. That's a better idea. Come here. Mm -hmm. Who's there? No one. Mm -hmm. Oh, got him. I'll go here fast. Come on, come on, move, move! You're too slow. Is there somebody there? No, no, there's nobody here. That guy wakes up. Put him. Sleep! Fucking sleep, I said! Okay. Now. I'll wake him up in different places so I won't wake him up at the same time! How about that? I can 
is that a bit better of an idea? A better idea. That's what I'm trying to say. Damn it. Freeze. <gasps> God damn. Yeah, I'll do a dog Freeze. tag run. That'll be fun. Never again, never again. Pendant, I mean, well, 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 that's gonna be useful. It's actually gonna be useful. Wake up. Almost leaving on the jump. Freeze! <gasps> Freeze! <laughs> Freeze, motherfucker! That's the tax, so these are right. There are four to uh, like four tax to go, I think. Four to five tax. Oh, wait. Three to four tax. Something like that. I think there are four tax. Oh my god, there are more than that. I didn't remember that. Too. Oh fuck, try to hit the bastard! There are five tags remaining. <laughs> oh, there might be more, I don't remember. Apparently I don't remember anything about this game. I'm freezing your ass! Quite literally. literally. And now I'm, for some reason, uh, ducking. And my con I'm pressing completely the wrong button all the time. Which is never good. Never good. We need to get going. Those guys are gonna wake up because I didn't kill them. I'm becoming a softie! Now, young lady, you need to learn the hanging mode. Because we are not gonna be able to leave here without it. Young lady, you need to learn advanced tactic. Oh, cyphers. Time to save. And I'm gonna make you listen. God damn it. We will not Jack, skip this. We will not skip. Jack, how far do you think the Patriot's digital control extends? I don't really know, but it probably influences a lot of what goes on in our everyday lives. Even mundane things like which movies and songs become a hit and what kind of clothes we wear? I think taste would be the easiest thing to manipulate. I mean, think about the kinds of film and bands everyone wants to go to see. It's whatever's at the top of the charts. And if the charts are made up... Exactly. But you can't really control individual taste. It's too closely tied to personality. I don't know about that. Trends have always been about following the leader. Not necessarily. The age of direct personal interaction is over. So is the idea of word-of-mouth communication. Rose, you have any friends you've met online? Hmm? Mm, yeah, I do. How many? Well, if you count only the ones I talk to a lot, I'd say about 20. How many of those have you actually met? <laughs> One or two tops. Uh-huh. That's how it is for everyone, I guess. And even if your online buddies had fake identities and were circulating false information, you'd have no way of knowing. Fake identities? Right. And there'd be no way for you to know for sure. Well, what about people who do meet face-to-face -face, then? Like us. Us? Have you ever really shown me the real you? I wouldn't even know the real me myself. But you're being honest with yourself now. Well, that's how I see it. Well, how am I being honest? Well, I've never seen you show so much feeling. Fear, anger, even a kind of giddiness. It may seem a strange thing to say, but you're living out loud for the first time that I've seen. I'm just trying to get the job done. This is war, you know. I do know that. I'm just saying you're different from your usual restrained self. What about you, then? I always want to be open with you, as much as I can. Okay. See you guys in the next part. Bye.